New tonight, a national organization calling for an investigation after a Galveston restaurant was vandalized. Zaza Bar and Bites is owned by a Muslim family, and last week someone covered that restaurant in bacon. That restaurant on Post Office Street near 23rd in Galveston. Channel 2's Brandon Walker spoke with the restaurant owner, and he is live from the island tonight. Brandon. Yes, Sian, and the owner says that he had received threatening phone calls in the past, but it wasn't until the bacon was smeared all over the front of his business that he says he felt broken. This comes down, so this is where it was. So that's Asad Khan would rather discuss something else, but instead. And then they, they put bacon grease around here, which is where our locks go in. He's found himself left to explain what someone else did to spite him. We're a restaurant. We're not political. Khan owns Zaza Bar and Bites in downtown Galveston. He is Muslim and follows the religion stance against pork. Because of that, Khan says, someone targeted him. Somebody went out, you know, planned this, bought bacon, put it on my business, and knowing fully well that bacon represents sort of an insult to Islam. Khan says the bacon smearing occurred twice, first last Sunday, then a couple days later. You have a right to have an opinion, I'm okay with that, but the opinion, when it becomes somewhat of an action, um, that's where I'm, I'm concerned. Patrons are rallying around Khan. Members of congregation B'nai Israel met for dinner at the restaurant, sending a message they say that hate won't be tolerated. I think that hatred grows when it's not um, confronted. We will not allow this to stand in this community. This will not happen. We need to come out to let him know we have his back. I am I'm so humbled and I'm grateful. Khan, who immigrated to the United States from Pakistan in 1993, says food builds unity. That's the goal of his restaurant, and hopefully, he says, it too will help change whoever set out to hurt him. That was the main purpose, was to, to show that we have really great cuisine, but, but to actually, if you taste our food, then you'll understand us a little better, you know? Now, Mustafa Carroll, the executive director of the Houston chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations, released a statement reading in part, quote, bias is the only reasonable explanation for the use of bacon in vandalism targeting a Muslim-owned business. The organization calling on law enforcement to investigate this matter as a hate crime. We can tell